What is going on guys, Recky here, bringing you a video on how to boost your FPS in CSGO. Now I'm talking if you have a lower end PC, not if you have an extremely nice PC build. This is not for you. This is for the person who doesn't, maybe can't afford to upgrade their PC to top of the line um, hardware. And uh, this, should, this should be a pretty good guide to get your FPS up and hopefully make the game more enjoyable for you. So first off, Make sure all your drivers for your graphics card are updated. In Steam, there's actually a nice option to check this. Open up Steam, click on the Steam tab, check for video driver updates. Now this is gonna be for NVIDIA. I have a NVIDIA driver, so that is why I will be showing you that. It makes it easier for me. Either you can do one of two options. You can go option one is manually find the drivers for your NVIDIA uh, graphics card or you can automatically find the drivers and it will search for you. Like I said, I don't have a real beefy computer. It does the job, but this guide is actually what I did to boost my FPS and I can genuinely say it worked. I have a GE4 600 series uh, 60, 650 Ti. We'll search that. And you just hit download, agree and download, save the file, launch it when it's ready. Then you wait for it to go through all the options here in the NVIDIA installer and you install it and just make sure you click finish. Alright guys, option number two is changing your power options to high performance. Now this video is not going to be saying download this, download this, all these third party applications to boost your FPS. I'm trying to fix your FPS and not bog it down even more. You know, this is not, this is simple things that everyone can do that should help boost your performance. So, hits the start tab, control panel, system and security, power options, and you're gonna want high performance. Obviously, when it turns to performance mode, it's gonna boost your FPS a little bit. Option number three is your Windows settings. Same thing, start button, control panel, you want to go to system and security. This time you want to go to system. On the left hand side, advanced system settings. Under the performance tab, click settings. And you want to adjust for best performance. It will, as you can see on mine, it takes off the visual effects of Windows, but if that's alright with you, it's just... It's just kind of an eyesore to be honest, it's, it's kind of ugly, but it will boost your FPS in game and it's definitely worth it. Alright guys, step number four is changing your launch commands. It's pretty simple. You're going to want to figure out how many threads your CPU has. So to do that, you want to go to the start menu, control panel, system and security, system. And then you can see your process right here. I have an AMD FX83208 core processor. So you're going to want to copy whatever your processor is, plop that into Google. As you can see, there are eight separate threads in mind, but four physical cores. So to change your launch options, you want to get in Steam again. Go to your library, games, Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, properties, set launch options. Once you're in here, you're going to want to type dash no vid. That will make it so it, it doesn't get the intro video every time you you launch Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It'll be a faster startup. Um, next, dash nod 3D9EX. That will just make it easier to alt tab. The next one is the one that we looked up, dash threads. Mine was eight years, might be different. So whatever number you found, that is what you're gonna want dash high and dash no joy that will disable um, the joystick compatibility that's built in it'll free up some RAM and it'll ultimately free up some FPS all right let's jump into step number five guys it's running crap cleaner it's just like doing like a body cleanse where you just drink water and eat healthy it's the same thing for your computer virtually what it does you can go in here in the cleaner it'll clean out all your temporary files and just everything that's junk that is just slowing down your PC um, you can actually go into tools and you can uninstall apps and anything that you've downloaded any programs in here that you do not use anymore 
then you can clean up your registry. All you gotta do is click scan for issues. It will clean up all unused file extensions you can see here. Once that's complete, all you gotta do is click fix selected issues. Do you wanna backup changes? You wanna hit yes. Save those, because if you ever have to, if something goes wrong with your PC, you wanna be able to have these files. You can, you can search through each one and see what it's saying, or you can just click fix all selected issues. Once that is fixed, you're good to go. Click on cleaner, you wanna analyze. All right guys, once that is finished, all you gotta do is run the cleaner. Mine, I do it all the time, so I don't have that much. Um, about 10,000 megabytes to be deleted. Alrighty, and when it's done, you can X out of it. If you've never used this before, and your computer's just overall bogged down and not running well, run this, and I promise you, it does wonders. It's amazing what it can do for your computer. When I bought this computer, I bought it, it was already built by somebody else, and it just had a ton of stuff on there. I, I got Crab Cleaner, I ran it, run it all the time ever since, and the overall performance of my PC, no matter what I'm doing, has just boosted an, an insane amount. All right, guys, last but not least, let's get in to the actual game settings. So for me, this is not what I play on, but generally, the lower the settings, the better the FPS. I like to play everything on medium, even though my PC does handle it quite well, simply because of the more, more FPS. The one thing I do keep high is the shader detail because of knife and skins on weapons. It makes it look a lot better. You're gonna want to, it's different for everybody, just depending on your PC, you can try out a couple different options. For the multi-sampling, anti-aliasing mode, uh, try two, maybe none. Um, for texture filtering, bilinear, it just um, improves the appearance of the textures in the game. The higher it is, um, the more it's going to degrade your graphics performance. Uh, Anti-aliasing, the same thing. Um, it just takes away the jagged edges, so if you have it enabled, it's going gonna, it's gonna to chop down your FPS, so we'll turn that disabled. Um, keep the bottom two disabled and you can kind of monkey around with it. Now it's different for everyone. You might have to bump it down to low. Like I said, my PC is decent so I can run on medium, but go through those, change them up a little bit, whatever gets you the best FPS, roll with that. Well, that's it for the video guys. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you get a better CSGO experience from this. I know I certainly did. Make sure to let me know in the comments how it turned out for you. That's all for today's video guys. Recky out.